Hello everybody and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. So we left off doing some puzzly junk and I need to go into the last room and see what's going on there. And um, hopefully not die. So far it seems this place has been relatively safe but I don't trust it. scare yourself by smacking a pipe on the thing. Okay. Oh, they're different. Weird. Mmm, seriously, I- that was not okay. Whoever- was that Alexander who said that? Because no thank you. That's just- that's just not okay. How 
what do you... I'm so... Do I have to... Okay. Okay. So... Oh. It'll, maybe it'll automatically do this. There must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vitae, that much was certain. As always. Much weirdness. So what did that machine do then? What the heck, though? That, like, Daniel, what are you doing thing was, like, disturbing. It didn't cause any of those to come down. So maybe it did something with the water? No. No, it did not. A loser. Sister. The beautiful wild orchid just seemed a testament to nature's strength being able to grow inside Brunnenberg. Alas, it was Alexander's studies and care which enabled the flower to blossom. Oh, darn. Oh, no. I do not. I don't. Wait, is that water down there? I'm conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like how's it like for the monsters? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. They didn't get eaten. Crap. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to. It's so loud when you fall in the water, dude. Shut up. That's so sploshy. Yeah. Hello? Friend? We 
weird. It's so quiet in here. I don't like that. Keep jumping. No, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Gosh dang it, I'm going to die. Okay, here we go. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. Mm -hmm. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Dwell on those doubts. Alexander do woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. Rituals? It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. Sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Oh, let me know how that's gonna go. So is that what Alexander's doing? Wouldn't that be a good thing? I'm confused. Oh no, did I do a bad? I think I just did a bad. I think the monster's here now. For sure. Oh, shoot. Okay. Really, do not fall in the water now. There will be death. heard that. Oh. You're here, aren't you, buddy? Somewhere. Just chilling out. Maybe you were asleep for a bit? I mean, I would be. Same, probably. Okay, probably those rocks then. Smack it. Smack it so hard. Eh. Nice. I 
have good aim in a video game for once. Normally, I suck butt. Normally in real life, I'm like, I can't do sports or anything for my life. Like, don't even try. Eight August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Have you been watching Star Wars? Um... I don't like how creepy this gets whenever I turn these valve things. I do not... I really don't. It's... It's creepy. It's spoopy. And not in the good kind of spoopy. Thank you. Good night. I might as well light my path. I have tinderboxes for days. Um. Crap, it's so here. It's so here. Oh no. Oh gosh. I don't have any way to... There are no limbs. Oh crap, do I just have to... <laughs> I hate this thing so much. Go, 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 go. What the heck? Stop trolling me! Ah, I don't appreciate it. Okay. So I probably shouldn't run through these. Go. Uh, go. And go. Okay. I'm gonna turn the valve thing, but I wanna see if there's more stuff. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the Oh, orb? definitely. I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. More dangerous. More full of death. Which is currently your situation right now, so, you know, that's not surprising. Probably here now. Like, 
I know I've said that like a million times now, but it's probably here now. It's so here now. It's so here now. It's so here now. It's so here now. Go, go. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I drowned you, dude. so bad. The purpose of the inner sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power, however, he was still unaware of this. Who was? Oh, study the orbs and find a way to force them. Uh, I bet that was Daniel then. Being too naive. Trust in that Alexander dude. Always super creepy. Can I turn this down? A push. Well, I can't push it from down here. Maybe I can slap it. Because I think that that water thing made it so that whatever's down there is available. Probably. Yep. But... I think we need to go in the other room first. Let's try smacking. So anticlimactic. It's just like, whee! <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe? Yeah. I'll toss one up there. Or maybe a couple. Who knows? I might miss. <laughs> and then I can smack it with those. Okay. Well, whatever. Two's good enough. Three's a crowd, anyway. <laughs> Am I right? Bonk. Oh. <laughs> well, okay then. Morg. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like the name of it. I don't like anything. Let's go. Let's leave. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> what about the room down there? That's probably the weird place with the fungi or whatever the heck he was talking about earlier. I'll deal with mushroom. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can actually go down there then. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> okay, we're leaving. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh man, we have to go in the morgue. I don't want to. Which is good because we're out of time. <laughs> so, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, man, if you would like to stick around for a bit, you'll see me go in the morgue and probably scream a lot, because morgue just sounds like it's going to be awful, awful lot of fun with dead people. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take me credit. Bye-bye.